My name is Kathy Fosno and this is Cat's Creative Corner and welcome to Tuesday's card. Today we're going to be making these cute little hello cards except for I'm going to make a thank you card instead um, out of some watercolor paper that we make on our own. Okay, first of all you take a sheet of Whisper White cardstock that is five by three and three quarters. And then you're going to take the inks of your choice and you're going to take an aqua painter and you're going to fill it, fill the barrel with water and then you're going to start rubbing. You're going to put some water in there and you're just going to go over your paper. And this is just Whisper Right. You can use watercolor paper if you want, but I'm not drenching it real strong. So whatever you want to do. Sometimes you want it a little bit darker. Okay, so there's one. Sometimes when I get to stamping, I don't have a place for everything. All right, here's, uh, that was Peekaboo Peach. And now I'm going to make sure my brush is clean by wiping it off. And then this is Wild Wasabi, and I'm just going to run that through and I'm just kind of going for a straight strike through it kind of look okay but let's get some purple in there what do you think this is wisteria wonder kind of looks gray on this doesn't it Okay, a little yellow. We'll use Daffodil Delight for our yellow. And you're just going for an abstract look. You're not going for anything in particular. And I think I'm going to go ahead and do Perfect Plum to get a little bit more of the purple. Okay, so there's your sheet of watercolored paper. Now it takes a few minutes to dry, so in courtesy of you and to take less of your time, I already did one that is dry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the pineapple and I'm going to put Versamark on it. Okay. And I'm going to put the paperwork. It's going to overlap just a little on the top. You want to make sure you get that soaked in. Set that aside. Now we're going to use our new copper embossing powder and I've been really having fun with this today really nice. Okay, I got a little bit on there that didn't belong. So I'm going to brush that. All you need is a little brush that will help you clean that off where you don't want the embossing powder. I don't know why it was so bad. Probably because it might still be just a little bit damp. Well, I need my bottle, and I just am going to pour the remainder back into the jar and put the lid on it. Okay, so now we're going to take our heat tool, and watch this. This one really shows when you change it. Can you see it changing? Turn it around so you don't burn your fingers. Okay. 
I love to watch embossing powder change. Okay, it's all done. That's all it takes. I let it cool just a minute. Okay, now I'm going to cover my embossing powder. Then I'm going to take my Wild Wasabi card base and I'm going to crease it with my bone folder. And this is five and a half by 11 and then scored at four and a quarter. And then I'm going to put a piece of Daffodil Delight and this is going to be five and a quarter by four. Okay. And to not, because it's watercolor, I'm going to be using the, well, turn it the right way, Fast Fuse. When you use Fast Fuse, make your, sure you do a little check when you're done, and don't do it too hard. And when you do your check, do it opposite each time. So, center that to the front of your card base. And then the same thing, but in this case, get as close to the edge as you can without going off. If you go off, though, you can just kind of fold it back over the, the tape. So we'll see how we do when we get all done. Okay, yeah, I have a little bit that's hanging over, so I'm just going to fold it back into the back of the card. And we're going to put our pineapple right in the middle of the Daffodil Delight. Okay, now I have the word thanks that I cut out from the Hello You Thinlets. And I'm going to use Tombow Multipurpose Glue. And I'm just going to dot it around. I don't want a lot, I just want enough to stick it, and I kind of want to get the edges. Can you see that? I don't know, let me put my paper under there, maybe you can see what I'm doing better. You just want to get the edges, you don't want to get a lot because you don't want your glue coming out. And I always wind up with glue when I do one of these thinlets like this. The thinlets. I can never remember. Thinlets are when there's a lot of intricate design to them and framelets are just what they say, frame the image. So these are thinlets. Okay, so now I'm going to take, turn this around and I'm going to take and I'm going to put my thanks right across. Put it down a little bit to where it kind of touches both sides of the Wild Wasabi card base. There you go. I couldn't do that without doing it upside down for your sake. Okay, so then I'm going to take a little bit of our linen thread. This is becoming one of my best friends lately. I really am liking the linen thread. And a pineapple needs linen thread. That's just what it calls for. Think of the grass that grows around it. Have you ever been to Hawaii and seen pineapple grow or somewhere where pineapple grows? It is fun to look at and watch. Okay, I just did a little casual bow there. And I'm gonna take, I got glue on my hands. And I'm going to take a glue dot and I'm going to roll it so that I can put it right under the knot of this linen and put it right at the crease where the grass meets the actual pineapple and trim it a little bit. And then I think now on your original ones, I put some star sequins. Can you see that? Well, I think instead I'm gonna put pearls on this one. And I'm gonna use big ones because we're using a big, the pineapple is a big object, big stamp. So I just want it to kind of go with 
being large. So the largest pearls, and I'm just using my snips to transfer it because it's easier when you have something to transfer it with. I usually use my piercing tool, but my piercing tool is missing. I have to order another one. So there is your finished card. And it says thanks. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you would like to, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. And also you can go on over to my website at Cat's Creative Corner where you'll find a complete list of directions and supplies for these cards. Thank you for stopping by.